did they climb another rung on the ladder toward their ultimate goal. Winners of seven out of the last eight and look to keep it going tonight. Clippers, Lakers, coming right up. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Welcome, everyone, courtside with two ex-NBA stars, Grant Hill and Brent Berry. I'm Brian Anderson. We've got Ali LaForce on the sidelines tonight as well. Well, Grant, with that time of the year where trade rumors start to heat up and speculation on social media runs rampant. Oh, you're so right. I mean, we're not just talking players, too. A number of coaches are on the hot seat as well, so it can be a bit of a distraction for everyone. And of course, the only cure is winning. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers starting line. Kawhi Leonard out there with Rui Achimura. Then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Hood Shafino in at the point guard position. Great effort from AD, just getting himself in the position and then grab the O rebound. And Davis has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. Last time, they met in Los Angeles. And they won that last game between these teams easily, posting a scorching hot field goal percentage. They get it back. The Lakers have gone one for three so far. Paul George pulls it in. On offense, here are the Clippers. When you think about Paul George, still regarded as an elite two-way player, Brent. Yeah, you get that dynamic play on the offensive end where he's capable of 35 points any given night. But defensively, shutting down a team's perimeter all-star, that is rarefied air for a star player in this league. Yeah, a little bit surprising he hasn't connected on at least one of his three shots yet, but uh, he's going to keep shooting. To the right side, three-pointer. Money with the bucket. Well, we've seen Davis expand his game. You can see it there with the playmaking. Now Highland. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. Powell passes to Highland. Now here's Zubats. Powell outside. Just five on the clock. And it's off from three-point range. No, it's early, but going 0 for 4 to start a game can make a team get a little bit tight. Davis, a screen. Leonard outside. Here's Money. How covers. Money with the bucket. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Phoenix. I'll tell you what, once things started to go downhill, their performance plummeted. It wound up getting pretty ugly. Yeah, it felt like just the entire roster was stuck in neutral. There was nobody offensively that could get anything going. Now here's Highland, coming in off 21 points in his last outing. George's shot is off. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Money with the bucket. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. Outside, Highland. Pass to Zubats. Zubats, screen. George passes to Highland. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> that one felt a little personal right there. Yeah, again, you can't take this too far to make it too selfish, but that exchange, that's fun to watch. Here's Money. We saw him go on a scoring rampage last game. He was unstoppable. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Highland looking for an opening. Park, no good. The Lakers have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Here's Money. And another three for the Lakers. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Highland, the pass to George. Let's the three fly. Davis with a rebound. You could see he wanted to get him back. Sadly, he couldn't capitalize from outside the arc. Here's Money. George defending. 
Goes up at the elbow. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. Yeah, he's been having his way this quarter, attacking the basket and protecting their lead. Tries to spin move. Offensive rebound. Here's Highland. Knocks down the triple. Highland's got six points. And nice dime from Zubats. His floor awareness is solid. Davis with a screen on George. Here's Money. Again, the Lakers. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. So for the Clippers, quickly is checked in for Powell. Man comes in for George, and Conley subbed in for Highland. 36 seconds left to play in the first. Pass to quickly from outside the arc. Knocks down the long J. When you go back to quickly in his rookie year, he shot about 40% from deep, so shooting from long distance, not a problem. Money, pass to Davis. Davis, a screen. Here's Money. Count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. Six of their last 10 points have come from that mid-range area. Pass to Conley. The three ball. It's not going to go for him. With one on the clock. No good there. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double-digit lead. Lakers ahead. They lead by 12. We've got more in store for you right after this. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. They are looking engaged so far, especially on offense. Well, if they wanted to start well, this would be it. They seized momentum right away, and they just didn't let it go in that quarter. They've got Emmanuel quickly. Paul George out there with Amir Coffey. Then there's Mike Conley, and it's Nance in at the five. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Buries it from three. Leonard's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Those 2014 NBA Finals feature tons of Hall of Famers. Tim Duncan, LeBron, D. Wade. And maybe the guy who was unintroduced but now introduced as one in Kawhi Leonard. Man, he just stole the show winning the series MVP. Did an unreal job on LeBron defensively. Shot 58% from three. What an all-time two-way performance, B.A. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Rockets got the job done. He added 55 points, and at the other end of the floor, he's a thief. A virtuoso performance that will be remembered for a very long time. Brian? It really was some night for him. He couldn't have been much better, Grant. Yeah, B.A., there was nothing they could do to contain him. Once he got rolling, it was game on. And sometimes you can just look at a guy and you see the confidence that he's playing with. That's what I like best. Tries it from 19. Again, the Lakers. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. Well, Brent, if you could pick one current player to coach your team, who would it be? B.A., it's a really, really difficult question, but given the success... Put on the gas, MP. Get in there. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Out to Achimura. Beyond the arc. Nails it from three. Achimura's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Achimura ready, had that shot lined up. Powell outside. Pass to Zubats. Down low. Kicks it to quickly. Zubats, screen. Here's Powell. Launches a three. And the Clippers miss again. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an Who's amazing Anthony? job on the glass. Achimura with a screen on Powell. Here's Money. Powell covers. Achimura with a screen on Powell. From the high post. Money with the bucket. 
Money's got six here in the quarter. They're going old school out there now, working the mid-range part of the floor. Quickly passes to Highland. This one for three. Oh, he nails that one. Three for four now. Man, he is in the zone right now on offense, guys, building off that efficient first quarter. Davis with a screen on quickly. Here's Money. It's rebounded by Zubats. That's got to frustrate him. He knows he should have made that one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you want him taking that kind of shot. Here's Money. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Money's got 28. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. It's tough to get open in this league, and when you do, it hurts not to capitalize. Highland, the pass to Park. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Well, he had the perfect opportunity to finish that one, guys, and just flat out blew it. I love the aggressiveness. He's been on fire the entire first half and continues to strike while the iron's hot. Powell outside from behind the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Powell's got his second basket on the night. And how about Powell just coming back and taking on the challenge, answering the call. Money, the pass to Davis. Help, help. To the middle. Left, left. And Davis there slams it home. And I love how he's pushing the tempo and creating for others. He does this game in and game out. Incredible. Nice to play with a point guard that takes pride in playmaking. It makes you move around just a little bit faster to get open spots. Quickly from outside. And the Clippers hit again from deep. And it felt like Powell had the shot, but good job of feeding the open man. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers already up 26 points as this quarter ends. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. I think their rebounding tells the story. I mean, they've been more active physically. I think they've just been more aggressive. And it's carried over into other areas as well. Same thing Kenny said. Mm. Thank you, Shaq. Okay, let's take a moment now to celebrate our Players of the Week. From the Western Conference, money. Nothing off about this off guard. Don't call him a two. He's been there one. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. And here are the Clippers now. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Here's who Darvin Ham is starting in the second half. Rui Hachimura is out there with Anthony Davis. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Hood Shafino in at the one spot. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Pass to George. From deep. Rebound, the Lakers. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer... A lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's Highland. Off target from three-point range. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Hachimura with a screen on George. Here's money. Again, the Lakers score. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Pass to Powell. Six on the shot clock. For three, George. And Hood Shafino pulls it down. 
Might be time for the coaching staff to bust out a play for him to get going. 0 for 4 to start the half. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. The Clippers have gone 0 for 4. Not the way they want to start the second half. All right, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Well, some have called Kawhi Leonard a cyborg, but he said, quote, a coach can't put a battery in your back and tell you to play harder to go win games. You have to have the mindset, and you have to train your body to reach the level that you want to play at. Guys? No doubt. He is always locked in. Thanks, Allie. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Count it. I mean, he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. Well, the Clippers shooting a low 30% from the floor. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Powell's got eight. Good play by Powell. Just a strong field to take the three that time. Davis with a screen on George. To the paint. And that one's good. Davis. And when you've got your opponent down, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. It took six attempts, but he finally hits a shot. Here are the Lakers now. They're on a 14-6 run. Davis, a screen. Money. Pass to Davis. Here's Huchifino. Here's Money. 43 points in the game. Here's Davis. And good work on the boards as they picked up the second chance points. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. And so George will bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. Outside, Highland. Back to George. Here's the three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Davis with a screen on George. Here's Money. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Money's got 46. Well, he should be playing this game with an apron on because he's cooking right now. Here's George. It's Powell on the wing. There's 45 seconds left in the third quarter. George's shot is good. He was sitting back a little bit there in the first half, but feels like showtime now, and he's ready to put some major points up on the board. Here's Money. Again, the Lakers score. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, the thing is they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. Quickly is checked in for the Clippers. Paul George comes in for quickly, and it's man in for Highland. MP. The Lakers making a switch here. So it's the Lakers now. We've got Ivica Zubats. Terrence Mann is out there with Paul George. Then it's Norman Powell. That's who's out there for the Clippers. The offensive rebound. Here's Money. Powell covers. Goes back up. Oh, another one falls. A historic 50-point night. What a streak he's on. With this performance, he now has the longest streak of 50-point games in NBA history. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've played about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here. And that's what makes Griffin so dependable. Slashing to the hoop after the screen and the defense having a hard time dealing with it. Pass to Powell. George outside. Shoots from the elbow. Now Powell jacks up a three. George outside. Clock at six. Pure from three-point range. George has got 13 in the second half. 
And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Lakers. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they increased their win total to 29. And they've had their fingerprints all over this series, winning two straight and looking like they have this team's number. And one player just stole the show tonight doing everything for his team a monster night for money you look forward to playing with someone who doesn't just move the ball but moves it with a purpose picked by Covington poke hey. loose come around come around money the pass to green there's the three it's hauled in by the Clippers Pass to man. Takes the three. Rebounded by Green. Here's Money. Fires for three. The shot misses. And so it's the Lakers easily grabbing this one.